Hey there, friends. My name is Colin Cornell, and I'll be teaching a class this fall on Biblical Hebrew for Old Testament Interpretation at the Stevenson School for Ministry. In this short video, I want to say a few things about myself uh, and also mostly make a pitch for why studying Hebrew will be spiritually and theologically rewarding. So first of all, about myself. Uh, I am a visiting assistant, assistant professor for Biblical Studies at the School of Theology uh, that's a part of the University of the South, also known as Suwani. Uh, I teach a number of courses there, including Intro, Old Testament, and New Testament, Biblical Languages, a lot of Hebrew, sometimes Aramaic, and even this fall, New Testament Greek. Um, so I've been known as the utility infielder of the Bible department there. Uh, but my real passion and my training as a scholar at Emory University is in Hebrew Bible, what we call the Old Testament, and specifically the book of Psalms within it. I believe that uh, reading and marking and inwardly digesting Hebrew scripture is indispensable for Christian life and ministry. That without, without that, without that engagement, uh, we really operate with a deficient view of God uh, and also of creation. Uh, and I think that we don't set ourselves up for thriving in long-term, durable ministry. So that's why I'm in this business of teaching uh, Old Testament and uh, Biblical Hebrew towards that end. So let me try to tell you a little bit more uh, on studying Biblical Hebrew. I know it's intimidating. The alphabet runs the other way. Not going to lie, take some legwork to do the memorizing of grammar and so on. In the class that I'll teach in fall, we'll pay constant attention to Old Testament interpretation. Uh, so, uh, here's an example. Genesis 1 and 2, you'll remember, are the creation stories. They're set side by side. In the second one of those, uh, it's the kind of the down and dirtier one, where God forms the human out of the earth, breathes life into it, uh, and puts it in the garden. In that one, it starts with an earth problem. Uh, the, the problem is that there's no human around to till and keep the earth. And so God sees that issue and... Uh, resolves to create a human from the earth. But here's the key sentence in Hebrew. Adam ayin la'avod et ha'adama. There's no adam to avod, to, that is to till or literally to serve or service et ha'adama, the earth. There's no adam to serve or service the adama. You can hear there the similarity of those words. Adam, human, uh, and earth, Adama. Uh, so that's something that Hebrew, you can actually discern how uh, the sound play of the words mimics the relationship between humans that are built out of Adama and to resolve the earth problem, the Adama issue, the soil or ground has the problem. Um, so uh, we might have said in English, the earth and the earthling, although that sounds too much like ET to me, or the mud and the mud creature, or the soil and the soil being, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, if you study Hebrew, you will have access to a whole world of sounds and meanings and poetry uh, that just doesn't carry across an English translation. And that is, I think, a gift uh, for really a long-term ministry, long-term thriving, long-term spiritual life. So I hope you'll join us in fall. It's gonna be a fun class, a challenging class, uh, and I really do believe it will be worth your while.